chat live chat okay some messages potentially will not be visible all messages are visible okay fine okay hi a very good evening one of you please confirm the audio quality is am i audible uh, can i go ahead mic testing one two three so one of you please confirm the audio so it's 8 37 Okay, in the meantime, I'll just go through the comments. We'll start our live session very soon, okay? I mean, formally it has started, but one of you please confirm the audio quality. Hi, Sujay, a very good evening. Hi, Aishwarya, Aish, Rubina, Nandini. Hi, Shaili. Hi, Pramila. <laughs> What's up? Why did you track the message? Are you asking me, like, is food third at the exam center is that your com comment okay we'll get back to that hi rajkumar hi vipul rajkumar titus okay hi vipul very good evening hi jyoti shagufta hi hi shreyas melody haramprit kaur melody did i get it right hi nandini shaili hi again yes okay thank you okay fine hi neha hi neha you're still joining live <laughs> okay hi banu priya banu you're from jammu right the that banu itself right harshita okay anik hi ritu hi pavan yes hamshit kaur melody harshita neha you are awesome Neha. Yes Banu, hi. Hi Banu. So you vlogged WhatsApp but still you are live on, uh, I mean, you are checking YouTube, that's good. Hi Ruchi. Okay, first of all, a very good evening all of you. Um, I'm first, I should start with an apology. This 2023 batch, we haven't conducted much of the live sessions because of uh, some of my personal and professional reasons. Candidly, I'll tell you the reason in two minutes. So last June 2022, I was appointed as CEO of one of the tech companies where we did MS abroad program, a kind of consultancy. And I came out of that company in December, this January. So six months, June to December, I was very busy, occupied, managing both the companies, that is uh, the tech company, which I mentioned, and the PTB Day Academy. So I didn't frankly have any time to actually conduct live sessions, but I did my level best to organize the course as usual for all the registered students along with free study club discussions and recorded videos. Of, of course, for the past couple of months, I even started recording videos. So somehow I managed to be in touch with all of you, if not just through live. So the irony is this is going to be the first and last live session for 2023 aspirants. But having said that, I'm sure that the courses, the, the materials which we have been providing to you uh, almost on a daily basis are helpful in your preparation. And today is an amazing day for me personally because I interacted with literally hundreds and hundreds of aspirants. More than 600 to 700 WhatsApp conversations happened today from morning o'clock till 7, 7.30. I was very much occupied with uh, the conversations, phone calls and all. It's been amazing interacting with all of you, receiving all your love and affection, and most importantly, tomorrow is a big day. So, uh, I felt like uh, yesterday's video should be the final video, but staying with you guys, I felt like, why not come online and, you know, just casually take up questions, if any. I know you, you definitely have so many questions, so the objective of this live session is, number one, to be in touch with you real time, and number two, if in case you have any questions, right feel them to blast them and we'll try to demystify or clarify those queries or concerns if any or else we can just say hi and bye that's it 
Hmm. So let me check the comments. Aishwarya, okay, we'll start. Aishwarya has a question. Sir, is it okay if I have printed my admit card in two pages? <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but you know, as clearly mentioned in the admit card itself, it front and back, okay? I know it's convenient for us to print that in two uh, pages rather than turning it and then taking a print on the back of the sheet. But please follow the instructions given in uh, the official website as well as in your admit card. Okay, so single A4 sheet, front and back. So please go ahead with that. Okay, so even if you take it in two pages, not that they're going to stop you, but why? Why give that chance? If possible, try to get the printout in a single sheet okay Aishwarya got it right and also one of the aspirants has a question like last night uh, some of the comments I've seen uh, one of my friends has uh, sent me that comment where the aspirant was asking like is food provided during examination and for your kind information food is not at all provided no refreshments will be provided of course water will be provided I reckon so don't expect anything to be provided and go hung got it yes aish you saw it later that's wonderful hi prudvi hi damini is that is that the damini uh, i mean i'm in little in touch with four or five daminis i'm sorry so which damini is this is this the damini who has attended uh, the marriage on 26th that is last Sunday, I guess. Okay. Hi, Nikita. How are you? Hi, Ruchi. Banupriya, you're, you're smiling. Mm. So it means the evidence is now clear that you're being disturbed immensely on WhatsApp. So you have uninstalled the app, unable to receive all the distractions hmm? got it hi Prudvi a oh, very good evening hi Abhinay and Venkatesh hi Venkatesh hi Subha a oh, very good evening all of you so how are you guys feeling chill relax or tensed up Sohini, a very good evening. Hi, Kushbu, a very good evening. I still remember uh, looking at these profile names for the past two to three years. Kushbu, I think you have attended our live sessions last year as well, right? Sohini also. And Sohini is our registered student. Need Slayer, thank you so much for uh, so much, sir, for all your efforts. You're welcome, Need Slayer. So I'm sure you're going to slay tomorrow's exam. Post. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah. Come on, guys. No questions from your side. I'm really, really happy. <laughs> Is it overwhelming to ask any questions? So if you have no questions, I have something to say. I'll, I'll go ahead with that. Okay. Uh, Shah Gupta. Hi, Shah Gupta. Very good evening. Good, Nikita. Awesome. Again, Banupriya is smiling. Banupriya, see, which means whatever I said, my hypothesis has been confirmed by Banupriya. Got it. <laughs> okay so before uh, like before you have any questions feel free to ask any questions Pramila no questions wow Pramila come on every night you have been bombarding me with so many questions and now you say no questions others might have questions come on you should be a bit considerate <laughs> okay Subha, how many questions should we be attempting tomorrow? Yeah, this is something which I'm anticipating. I'm glad you asked, Subha. So, uh, yeah, please don't go by these uh, fixed numbers. Don't fixate on like attempt these many uh, questions or X number of questions or Y number of questions. See, first of all, question paper is dynamic. It's last year's question paper is not going to come this year. Even though there are repeats, they will be minimal. And most importantly, the question paper is so complex and diverse that if you fixate on number of questions based on previous top scores, qualifying criteria and all, you're fooling yourself in the process. Rather, depending upon the question paper, depending upon how you perceive that question paper, and most important, 
are you be, are you able to answer the questions confidently to the best of your ability so based on these factors try to answer the questions okay so it has to the judgment on number of questions to be attempted has to be made on these factors as i said depending upon the question paper depending upon how you perceive the question paper amount of time available and number of right answers you think you might be getting in that particular uh, question paper so go based on these factors and don't fixate on any standard number like i should attempt minimum 150 questions to be on get into gdc minimum 180 questions what about negative marking so I hope you got my point, right? So Subha, answer as many questions as possible based on your confidence levels. And you are the best judge to decide the number. I'll tell you why I'm giving such an elaboration rather than giving you a simple number. Because Subha, if I say, go answer minimum 150 questions or 180, 180 questions, let's suppose I said go answer 180 questions. What if you are sure about 120 questions and since I said 180, so rest 60 questions will you just go answer based on luck factor? What about one fourth negative marking? So you'll be like cutting down all the hard work in the process, all the hard earned marks like 120 into 4, uh, 480. So you'll be losing one fourth negative marking for every uh, wrong answer and why do you want to uh, get into that zone right i hope you're getting my point rubina positive vibes that's amazing yeah positive vibes only <laughs> be funny you have anything you can just voice out uh harsha sir should i have to submit my original id given in application Nothing like that. See, application may like whatever uh, IDs you have submitted. See, uh, either other driving card, uh, driving license, uh, passport. They have given the list, right? In the information bulletin, I think number 39 or 40, something like that. I have been pushing it to students who have been asking me. So, any of the accepted ID, any one of the accepted IDs which is mentioned in the information bulletin, just go through it. Okay. Harsha. Yeah, Saroj. Hi, Saroj. A very good evening. Near. Very good evening. Yes, Need Slayer. May I know your name? So, is or is it supposed to be anonymous? Let's see. So, or maybe you will. Yeah, you're going. You're going to slate tomorrow's exam. All the very best. Slate. <laughs> Hi, Kushbu. A very good evening. Thank you, Need Slayer, for all your love and affection. Epiphany. Hello, sir. How to be positive? <laughs> subscribe to my channel and like all my videos follow all my videos you will know how to be positive <laughs> just kidding uh, see that's that's one of my objectives of doing these live sessions to promote and to inculcate or to project that sense of positivity see how to be positive epiphany one simple tip which i can give you is eliminate all the toxic stimuli or negative stimuli that itself will create a drastic effect on the way in which you think, the way in which you perceive things, etc. So you need not actually put an effort to be positive, but by eliminating negative stimuli, or if you are in a toxic environment, or always bombarded by toxic stimuli, by toxic pe people, just maintain a healthy distance. If necessary, keep them at at least 10 meters distance, or even farther if possible. That itself will do wonders, mark my words. And along with that, one of the beautiful things which I can tell you is a disciplined lifestyle. See, previously I used to wake up at 4 o'clock and I used to sleep at 9.30 or 10. But thanks to you guys, to most of the night owls, now I am sleeping at 1, 2 a.m. and I am waking late. That's okay. But my point is like, no matter when you sleep, when you wake up, if you have a kind of routine, you have a kind of disciplined lifestyle, you know then that itself will bring loads and loads of positivity on a daily basis you'll start experiencing and one of the things which i do is the moment i wake up after my day, uh, daily uh, evolutions i start i read a book go to workouts and you know uh, uh, perform a kind of routine so it will infuse a lot of positivity on daily basis mark my words and talking to your loved ones, having that one person in your life where you can be yourself with that person, 
that also helps you experience positivity you see it's all about you see i'm talking about the external environment but you should understand that ultimately it's all about how your internal environment is isn't it okay banu priya <laughs> you want tips for tomorrow come on activate your whatsapp i'm going to whatsapp you so this is one of the questions i'm glad you asked me this banu priya one tip which i can give you all for tomorrow is exude confidence see on the day of my exam i was like literally enthusiastic and energetic people will say over action all these things just don't bother what others say you exude confidence no matter how much you study whether you worked for 10 months or one day it doesn't matter tomorrow is a time for you to exude confidence i'm not asking you to fake it i mean depending on your potential you put in some efforts right so try to exude that in the form of confidence when a confident you know you will actually make wonders so to the best of your ability you are going to answer questions and you will have the best result possible depending upon the status of your preparation for suppose if you have like uh, in a simplistic way if you invest or you know if you give two points in the form of effort you two points in the form of result likewise if you had given 10 points in the form of effort you will receive 10 points in the form of result so depending upon your level of preparation you will get the equal amount of output provided you exude confidence on the other hand if you're not confident if you're worried if you're frightened if you don't believe you you are like i don't what if i don't remember all these kinds of stuff then even if you invest 10 points in your preparation you'll only get four or five points so so shall you reap that is possible only when you exude confidence so tomorrow one thing which i can tell you is believe in yourself and exude confidence when taking up the exam be mindful enough and with confidence you'll be mindful and you'll be giving your best no doubt in that okay banu is that fine or do you want more tips shago for mom it was so difficult for me to study and concentrate thanks to your channel i have been able to revise and study that's really wonderful to hear uh, shagufta and these are the kinds of comments which give uh, educators like me immense sense of satisfaction and this is what actually drives us into doing what we have been doing right from the beginning on a consistent basis so i should say being a mom or being a wife or taking care of your in-laws husband kids it's no easy task but you guys are mothers are actually a great inspiration to all the aspirants out there uh because you are trying to balance so many things in spite of so many responsibilities you have in life you still are looking to progress professionally and you guys definitely are an inspiration to all of us including myself thank you for your kind words and it really means a lot shagufta all the very best for tomorrow's exam yes subha she so is smiling so which means you are satisfied with the answer so the number of questions based on your confidence levels go don't go based on a fixated value like i should answer a minimum of this that would be foolish approach okay also from my side i'll give you some tips before i conclude the live session okay don't worry about that professor although i have been watching your youtube videos and i have heard from a senior i don't know much about you share something about yourself <laughs> rajkumar i'm uh, i'm dr navin uh, my hometown is vijayawada i completed my masters in endodontics way back in 2016 and i started company called ptvd academy private limited in 2017 i am a founder and ceo of that company and last 6 months i worked as a ceo of the tech company rudra tech where we dealt with ms abroad consultancy as i mentioned initially so now i am again taking care of this ptv academy private limited completely also i am working as guest faculty as assistant professor in st joseph dental college elo and i stay in hyderabad now my hometown is vijayawada this is my so i've been to my hometown and yeah very briefly that's about me you can find all the details about me on my website ptbdacademy.com okay yeah happy 
and by the way <laughs> i think I, i should say something which is relevant to this channel right the reason that this channel is because i'm passionate about teaching and i started this youtube channel during my post graduation in 2015 and right now we have around 93000 plus subscribers throughout the world and i also secured a top rank during my entrance preparation in first attempt so that's about me done over team sir abhi bhi pade ya sab jaye rahim see i'll tell you something rahim uh, during my plus 1 plus 2 or during my high school when i used to my father used to drop me to the exam center and on the way i used to see especially girls sitting uh, as a pillion rider their fathers will be driving and they'll be sitting behind on a two wheeler and seriously skimming through the book or notes notes mostly even while going to the exam center are yaar why do you need all that it only increases your stress and anxiety seriously right so don't do all that happily sleep you know uh, eat well try to sleep early there is no i put a 8:30 live session is so that i can conclude at least by 9:30 or 10 try to sleep early wake up early you know have adequate sleep deep sleep if you sacrifice that you will not be able to perform well tomorrow on the day of exam okay got it so don't study just if possible watch a comedy show one of your favorite shows <laughs> if i i was telling this to one of the students today and she was saying like sir i'll kill myself with guilt if i watch a movie <laughs> seriously if you perform better tomorrow you'll be relaxed guys you should understand that let's suppose i bring this analogy again and again let's suppose i'm taking a viva now you're my students and have worked very hard for this particular topic viva and you're dreadful of me you're afraid of me you hate me and you want to kill me if possible you're afraid that i would fail you in that case no matter how much you study you cannot answer the questions that i ask because of the fear factor on the other hand you love me respect me you love the subject in the process or as a consequence you've studied and you come you would answer any question not just correctly but also enthusiastically energetically which would enhance the overall output so my point is when your environment is positive i'm talking about the internal environment okay then obviously you'll have wonderful amazing result accordingly right i hope you're getting my point so chill relax you'll do better tomorrow if possible watch a uh, some favorite movie or comedy show i i watch three things uh, my favorite the office which is available on netflix and prime uh, these days i'm watching office again and again friends now and then big bang theory so these three are the shows which i keep on watching again and again they are like my stress busters wasim akram hi wasim due to personal issues i didn't able to revise basic subjects and this is my second attempt what should i do wasim don't worry at all first of all uh, what is the best you can do right now not to worry about the lack of revision that is the best thing you can do so i would suggest you not to study anything now try to get adequate sleep go and give your best tomorrow there is no point in revising stuff till last minute it only increases anxiety and apprehension in large majority of the cases i mean even if you study if you are like cool composed then go study if you are studying if you are cool come study but that's not the case because according to human nature when you have a high stake exam in less than 24 hours takes time okay <laughs> you have to go to himalayas and practice that takes time hold on so stop everything relax chill and enjoy tomorrow's exam okay go give your best epiphany you already subscribed i'm just kidding epiphany i'm but by the way i'm glad you subscribed if you observe i never ask anyone to subscribe like and comment i was just kidding but i'm really glad you subscribed thank you <laughs> yes mega how many question should we solve tomorrow again now uh, i've repeated i've already mentioned this but i'll tell this briefly answer as many questions as possible based on your confidence levels okay yeah like for suppose if you are answering a question people let me take this context and uh, to the questions which you are damn sure the like you can just go ahead without stopping and in second phase maybe if you allot some time you can recollect topics or you can recollect some answers 
so usually second phase you can go ahead like for suppose in a question you think answer is in two options then 50 50 probability then those kind of questions you can answer in a second phase third phase you can deal with difficult questions at the end when you have time okay time factor is very very important so this is something which you, we usually say like 3 hours to 40 mcq so on an average you'll be getting 45 seconds not that you have to change the question every 45 seconds but keep that average in mind and you've practiced thousands and thousands of mcqs so come on it will be a cakewalk for you mark my words just exude confidence as i was telling to banu priya previously okay mega premila how to be cool before the exam take a cool dip take some ice cubes seriously you know ice water splash it on water you will be very very cool the technique really works well seriously <laughs> and along with that how to be cool before the exam close your eyes visualize a positive end result visualize the fact that you're going to succeed and then you, you know much about your own preparation than anyone else right so keep telling yourself like yes i worked hard given my best and now is the time for me to prove myself by giving my best you'll be cool don't worry you know and if in exam center if anyone is studying like before entering don't get carried away and please don't discuss subject last minute what is this what is that no point don't do that it only increases your anxiety levels okay jyoti jyoti i hope i have answered this question don't go by this criteria like minimum how many questions uh, should you attempt don't fixate on those things okay answer based on your confidence levels rubina is it okay to start the paper backwards and notice that dental related topics were towards the second half papers i mean it's completely up to you you'll have the freedom to hover and go to any question right yeah that's absolutely fine yes banu you're most welcome and banu you promised that you're going to be positively be in touch from tomorrow right i'm going to see <laughs> okay uh, rubino first of paper having general subjects okay fine yes yes rubino tips about negative marking lazy woman oh you want tips about negative marking see first of all it's a misconception that uh, one of them was asking like how to avoid negative marking you cannot avoid negative marking come to terms with reality you can only minimize negative marking as i said i'm glad you asked this the lazy woman so this is something which i wanted to highlight you're going through question paper see it's a common sense that you should go through the entire question all the options at least twice something which you already know right because if you don't know the question that's fine if you know the question and if you have made a silly mistake that would be like that should never ever happen so avoid silly mistakes go through the question options be mindful in the exam don't get carried away be mindful go through the question including all the options and negative marking this is one way to avoid negative marking and along with that if you have no idea about a question don't answer it assuming that through luck you might get it right don't go on that okay never do that only if you can rule out two options if you think the answer could be in rest two options 50 50 probability maybe you can take a risk considering a risk based on the number of questions you answered confidently and then go ahead accordingly that's what i would suggest you ritu you most welcome take care of your health anubhav sir i joined classes okay anubhav that's wonderful to hear congratulations yeah this is another i'm glad you asked this sohini sir it feels like i forgot other things see that is just your feeling i'm telling you very frankly it's just your feeling human mind is so powerful i keep on reminding you of this fact that the mind is so powerful that you will remember each and everything that you have studied without any doubt it's like a sponge it absorbs everything the only challenge is to recollect when necessary so as i said uh, previously when i was giving you that viva analogy uh, if the environment is positive you'll be able to recollect everything now uh, positively if the environment is negative you'll obviously forget stuff so make sure that you're getting good sleep make sure that you're exuding confidence make sure that you are sending positive affirmations 
rather than assuming that you would forget see if you feel like you'll forget everything your mind will actualize it your mind is so so powerful so don't let that happen keep telling yourself that you're going to remember and your mind will do everything in its capacity to remember stuff without any doubt mark my words and do not underestimate your potential because you're a human being you have a mind you have a brain which is the most sophisticated organ ever developed in this process of evolution right so believe in yourself pakka yes rajkumar titus so the social media reels and youtube shorts have shortened the attention span exactly well said rajkumar how to improve it sitting 3 hours for granted it self is tiring how can i overcome it it's all about practice uh, titus i'm glad you highlighted this in fact i made one video on the topic couple of months prior titled as a uh, epidemic which this entire generation is experiencing unfortunately because of these reels and shorts our attention span is dropping to seconds and even milliseconds so it's really challenging to focus on a 3 hour exam that's where practice plays a very important role that's the reason why we keep on telling you like practice taking up tests on regular basis not just before the exam but from the beginning so only with practice you'll be able to improve your attention span or for that matter if you're reading a book or if you're doing some task like cooking or if you're walking can you do that mindfully so through mind by cultivating this mindfulness in any task that you do you can translate that while taking up the exam as well that's it hmm? it's all through practice uh, titus and i'm glad you highlighted this point and tomorrow how do you overcome it it doesn't happen just like that try your level best to stay focused and because 3 hours if you think it's becoming too much maybe after one and a half hour you can take a 5 minute break okay so try to take a 5 minute break in between okay part a and part b if possible and i'm sure you'll able to pull it off don't worry also my practice home and grand test right banu priya surely from tomorrow only yes and i'm going to come north i'm going to come to jammu and kashmir i'm going to meet you guys I've been to Jammu and Kashmir in 2021 on road from the south. It's an amazing place. Yes, so he ni visualize success. I'm very glad that. Okay, guys. So any other questions? So make sure that you are mindful. Uh, don't get distracted easily. It's easy to say, but only with practice you'll be able to cultivate that habit. Don't think that it's too late. exam is tomorrow so consider that as an opportunity visualize for an exude confidence and when you are in the exam center when you are taking up the exam nothing else should bother you it doesn't matter what happens around right so be so focused that nothing should be distracting you give it wholeheartedly give it dil se you're going to rock without any doubt mark my words So I think I've covered most of the almost all the comments. So we'll see for another couple of minutes, and then we'll conclude the session. It's been really quite a while since we did a live session. Hopefully, for 2024, we'll try to increase the frequency. Hmm. <laughs> Okay I think it's better if I conclude the session before it's 9:15 hmm it's already 9:11 so finally tomorrow is an amazing opportunity for you it's not a punishment it's an amazing to progress professionally so perceive it accordingly most importantly it doesn't matter what has happened in the past don't let your past affect your present moment be mindful exude confidence focus on giving your best and as you sow so shall you reap and never have this self doubt like what if i don't remember that would be nothing but foolishness utter foolishness if you're thinking like that it only means that you and i'm telling you as a fellow human being that your human mind is an amazing tool right whatever you visualize can be actualized whatever you imagine can be actualized right 
so that is the power of human mind and with right intent and with your actions aligned with your intent the universe will conspire in your favor always without any doubt so it's all about hard work consistency and self belief and you know these are the three factors which i which we keep on reminding you again and again and also tomorrow it's a unique day 3 hours of exam it's different experience for you uh, taking up an entrance along with thousands of uh, others you know it's a kind of unique experience so try to enjoy the process involve yourself in that 100% because you're not going to get these opportunities again and again and again and you know your perception should be in such a way that even tomorrow is a learning experience everyone says tomorrow as just a means to score marks and ranks but how many of you are actually seeing some subject have such broader perspectives and eventually whatever you learn is going to help you personally as well as professionally without any doubt so with this we conclude this live session it was amazing interacting with you just before the final exam and to all the very best i'm truly blessed and overwhelmed all the love and affection i've been receiving from your side i acknowledge each and every of your messages 100% thank you for all your love and affection and wish you all the very best for tomorrow's exam and we'll initiate paper discussion very soon from tomorrow itself in the form of hope document take care good night Yeah of course. I'll be praying for all of you. Okay? I'm I'm sure you're going to rock tomorrow's exam without any doubt. Yeah, try to sleep early, okay? Don't sacrifice your sleep for sake of tomorrow's exam. Try to sleep as early as possible. Yeah, you're welcome guys. Good night. Take care. Bye. Yeah, hi, hi, Melody. Hi, Shabnam. You're welcome.